Good Wednesday morning, my friends. Yes, Wednesday. Wow. Week going by fast, isn't it? All right. What we have going on is we have a couple of great days. Just fantastic weather coming up. And then that storm system that I've been talking about for the last several days is still on track to move through on Friday through Michigan. And after that, we will cool down considerably. We're seeing a couple of waves of cool down. I'm starting to actually lean toward out in the future 10 to 15 days out feeling more uh touch toward winterish than uh fall so let's get to it and show you what's going on remember yesterday i called it atmospheric constipation and it's developing out here a couple of storm systems merging and i'll show you that that's the main feature on the weather map that everything kind of dominoes from uh, Jennifer, will you get snowed on in the western UP this weekend? Yes, I don't know if I'd use the word snowed on, but I think you'll see some snowflakes. Now, look what happens outside of the atmosphere of constipation. We get great weather in our region, and then here's another one of these storm systems. This is going to be a blizzard for the Dakotas in the next couple of days, the second one of the year. All right, here's the U.S. model. Again, there's the storm. It's going to be a non-tropical storm. So even though it looks like it's cranking up into a hurricane, it's actually non-tropical, uh, very powerful nor'easter. Rain in Tecumseh Saturday? No. Uh, that's the other thing I'm going to be highlighting is once this cold air comes in, cooler air comes in, uh, we are going to have a, a dry slot move in too. So we're into tomorrow afternoon. Again, storm system holding this storm system back. Yes, that's snow, folks. And we're into the southerly winds. Thursday midday is a great day. So today's great. Thursday's great. When does the rain hit? Okay, we're at midday on Friday. And here's the cold front. Look at that storm just holding tight there. Okay, um, here's the cold front, so showers and maybe thunderstorms along it. It looks like Friday afternoon, and then this is Friday evening and overnight, the cold front coming through. The snow stays back here. This is a blizzard back here. The storm holding everything. And then this is Saturday morning. This is important. This is 8 o'clock. So the cold front is through. We're back to a west-southwest wind. And we're in the dry slot. So we're a lot cooler, but not bad. This is Saturday afternoon, very breezy. And Saturday evening, you may start to get some lake effect rain and snow showers up in the northwest corner. But the southern parts of Michigan, you know, uh, Ludington to Alpena south and east, not bad. Hey, good morning, Brazil. Um, not bad at all, although a lot cooler. And then we get into Sunday and continue to cool down. And still not too wet in the southern part of the state, if any at all. We'll get the rain and snow showers in the northern sections. Okay. Uh, now we go into Monday and that storm... Because of the atmosphere constipation, that storm just hanging around, then it'll bring scattered showers. And we'll go out in the future, and it looks pretty quiet after that. So, yeah, this isn't this is a cool down, but it's not anything that's real significant. Now we're going out uh, 16 days here or so, and look at what's happened. Everything starts to look more bluish than greenish, and that's why I say starting to see signs that November snow would not surprise me at all. Okay, so here we go for high temperatures today. Very nice of most places. And then here's Thursday. Again, about 70 degrees, lower 70s in western and southwestern lower Michigan. Friday, ahead of the cold front still, still mild. Temperature's about 70 degrees. Saturday, uh, changes. Upper 50s and then low 50s and then 40s for high temperatures and 30s across the UP on Saturday. Sunday. Uh, Brian Patterson, what does Friday around 5 p.m. look like for Grand Rapids? Have an outdoor activity 
planned. Oh, let's go back and get that real quick, okay? Uh, Friday. All right. There's 2 p.m. There's 8 p.m. I would say you're going to be very close to having that line of showers and thunderstorms come toward you at 5 o'clock in Grand Rapids. Wait another couple of days and you'll get a good timing on that. All right, low temperatures, really not too cold. Of course, we have the mild weather. This is uh, Friday's low temperatures. Saturday, Sunday, start to get chilly, but it's a cloudy chilly at night. Uh, so probably not looking at frosting or freezing temperatures on the weekend and wind too, and Monday and Tuesday. But definitely the, the sign is there for much cooler temperatures. All right, now, one last thing for you, the extended term, this is the, these are the temperatures at 5,000 feet up and the deviation from normal. So when you see these kind of blobs, it's warmer than normal, that's when we're in now. When you see these kind of blobs, it's much colder than normal. And watch what's going to happen. As we go into Friday, we're warm. And then as we go into Saturday, we get the cool blob over us into Sunday and Monday and Tuesday. In Wednesday, and then late next week, Friday and Saturday, we start to warm up again. And into Monday of the following week, we're into October 22nd now. But then I want to just show you what happens after that. As we get toward the end of October, there is a large pool of cold air. So, like I said, we might be looking at an early start to winter here across the Northland. We'll keep you updated on that. But for now, two probably of the best days of the year coming up. Low humidity, lots of sunshine, light winds, temperatures of 70 to 72 in the afternoon. Get out and absolutely enjoy those folks. This is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Thanks for joining me. Hit the share button, please.